Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm that Mopar Racing Guy, and today I'm going to go over a track day recap. On Tuesday, I had a track day. You can see that video on the channel. It was a great time. I set a new PR with the red eye, and it was a very impressive car on the track. I had taken my 2010 and 2013 Challengers out, and I really enjoyed how they drove on the track, even though they're not a sports car and they impressed a lot of people. When I took this one out at the track day, I got a lot of compliments. People were very impressed with uh, how well it handled. Uh, it changed some minds for sure. Uh, had two um, Corvette drivers come up and say, wow, you know, I can't believe this thing is out here doing this. I had one Miata driver come up and one guy in, in uh, Lotus Evora come up. All of them were super impressed with the car. I got even more compliments on the sound uh, this has the mid muffler delete and at the track it has a unique sound you have so many cars out there with sports car tunes that sound so high pitched you know 8000 rpm kind of cars and this thing is just rumbling it you know crazy loud with that supercharger whine and i think a lot of people really enjoyed it so it was a great time check out the video but today I have some things to go over. Um, a track day puts a lot of wear and tear on a car and you come out of the track day with things to work on. So after the track day, I had a check engine light. I had a squeal in the rear brakes. I have to check the tires and I busted up a little plastic part on the front. I'll give you a look at that in a minute. So I'm gonna, uh, I took the car in to the Dodge dealer. It's all under warranty. I think they just reset the check engine light. It turned out it was for the active exhaust actuator on the driver's side. So I'm not too concerned that they just reset it. If it comes back on, I'll take it back in. I'd prefer them to not be on the car to begin with, but you know, you can't take them off without the check engine light. Um, I'm gonna take the rear tires off and the front tires off, check the brakes all the way around, make sure that the squeal I'm hearing is probably the stock brake pads. Um, they were run pretty hard at the track. I don't think that that's their intended purpose, but you know, you, you go with what you have. I need to check them, make sure they're doing okay, and then I need to figure out what's going on with this plastic piece at the front of the car. So um, stick around if you want to check it out and see what one track day does to Hellcat brake pads. <laughs> So that didn't take too long. These Brembo brakes are super easy to pull out. So let's take a look at the brakes. All right, so I got the brakes pulled out here, just the brake pads, and I'm checking out the rotor. And the rotor has some discoloration, but I'm not feeling any grooves, any uh, lip here at the top. So I think the rotors are just fine. These are pretty hefty rotors so I wouldn't expect them to go bad so quickly the front brake pads you can see the squealer here the squealer tells you when you need new brake pads if you look at this leading edge here ooh, that's low I'm pretty sure that um, I'm gonna need new brake pads there's a little bit of uneven wear here, which is a little bit of a concern. You can see there's a, a hefty amount of brake pad on this side. And then on this side, there's not a lot of brake pad. Um, so I'm gonna end up doing the uh, high temperature brake fluid flush. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that I, I drain or bleed the system really well. I'm, I, 
I suspect that maybe with six pistons, it's just pushing unevenly on the brake pad. On the back here, you can see where the, the three pistons push on the brake pad. With it this side, it means that this bottom one's probably pushing a little harder. If the wheels spin in this way, as you're going down the track, it's going to pull in and bite a little harder on the leading edge. So that might explain why the leading edge has a little less pad. The other brake pad, um, again, uneven wear. The squealer on th is on this end of the brake pad, on this back one. So this is aligned this way. So again, the leading edge is the one that is getting the most wear. So I'm going to end up doing brake pad replacement for the next track day and probably get a new set just for street wear. Uh, before we go any further to the brake, back brake pads, here's that plastic piece I told you I broke. I'm, I'm guessing that maybe a, a um, piece of rubber or something in the track came and hit this, popped up under the car. Looks like I could fix this with a little plastic rivet right here. But uh, this is broken it looks like maybe it was rubbing against the tire here when it popped off it probably came back or something maybe it ran rubbed against the track there's also signs that this inner piece here broke so I think I'm gonna have to do a little more digging and find out exactly how to replace this part I hate replacing trim panel pieces because it's such a pain sometimes to find the right part number and crap online. So let's go to the back brake pads. Now, if you recall, I said I was going to get a, I was getting a squeal daily driving. And here's the culprit. You can see that squealer is letting me know that it's time to get new brake pads. I don't think there's any brake pad left on this guy. That for sure needs to be replaced. Well, if you ever want to sentence uh, stock brake pads to death, just go do a track day in a 4,500 pound car, I guess. So yeah, those back brake pads are completely cooked. The, um, the rotor though, again, some discoloration, which isn't a big concern. There's no lip or ridges or anything insane. So the rotors are good. I just need to get a, a little bit more durable pad. Let's move on to the tires. <clears throat> so here are my wear bars. And you can see I have a decent amount of material left, which is kind of shocking. Now, if you look at this line here, that is pretty chunked up. You can see that wherever there was, I don't know if you'd call that siping, there was um, there's basically a tear in the tire. Here's a whole chunk that was torn out. That's pretty nasty. Um, here's something in the tire. That's a little concerning. I'll have to get that checked out. Um, there's rubber actually melted onto the tire, probably transfer from the track. But yeah, these tires, um, would I do another track day on this set? Um, I'm a gambler, so I probably would. A more reasonable person might not, considering this chunking pattern here. Um, but I won't do it before I get something like that checked out because I'm not going to have a blowout on the track and it looks like a piece of debris is actually wedged in the tire there. Um, the front tire, which from my experience, wears harder when you're turning. Um, see my wear bars? Yeah, that's that's pretty donezo. Um, again, I'm a gambler, so maybe I would do one more track day on this set, provided there aren't any huge gashes or anything in it. You can see that here 
is supposed to be a similar, um, I don't know, siping or whatever as to the rear tire. But that line is completely gone, unlike the rear tire. Um, I'd say these tires are, are pretty worn out. They might be okay for some casual daily driving, maybe as an extra set just in case, you know. Um, one more track day out of this set is probably pushing it, to be honest. So, so yeah, that's it. One track day. It looks like um, I've gone through a set of tires and a set of brakes. That's kind of a big deal. I didn't really want to replace the tires so soon. I was planning on replacing the brakes pretty quickly, but I guess that's just the track life in a heavy car. Um, I'm going to clean this brake up real nice with some brake cleaner, put it all back together. I'm going to have to drive on these brake pads until I can get a new set in, which shouldn't take more than a week or so, um, and then put it all back together. So there you have it. If you're going to drive a heavy car at the track, you're going to have heavy costs. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you guys next time.